Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For any of you new people, thanks for showing up. Thanks for checking out the channel. Like and sub, share if you want. Helps the channel grow. For all of you returning regulars, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it is always appreciated. It's only going to take me a couple minutes to go ahead and get myself set up here. I'm already fed. I've already got my water and everything else, so you shouldn't have to sit here and wait for all of that nonsense as usual. Uh, just give me a couple moments to get my tags on here, and we'll get started. Alright, uh, switch this over to live chat so I can see you guys. Uh... Alright, let's get started. <clears throat> also, I didn't do the thing with all the potions, so uh, I hope you guys are ready. Let me get a drink of water. Previously on Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, our champion, after completing his two missions, sat in an inn, casting the same spell again and again, until he managed to go ahead and level up Thaumaturgy to an astronomically large amount. After finally being accepted into the first rank of the Templar of RK, he made his way back to the inn to continue working on the stuff. After getting Thaumaturgy up, Finally deciding that he needed to go ahead and move on, our hero has decided to go back and forth, purchasing stamina potions and potions of water walking to make the long journey to Belfry, or whatever the hell the name of that island is. Will he make it? Will he fall in the ocean? Can you fast travel over water with a horse? For tune in this episode on Elder Scrolls Daggerfall. Alright, potion day. Let's do it. I'm actually very excited. Uh, I hope you guys are ready to see me do the exact same... Oh, I'm gonna unplug that. Do the exact same thing all day for, like, ever, because, uh, it's exactly what we're gonna be doing. I don't want to punch, I wanna buy potions. Slow falling, free action... Shadow form, cure disease, water breathing, healing, nope. Every time I go in, it completely resets the... It resets what they have, so... Cure poison, restore power. We are going to be buying uh, our way to stamina potions and water walking. Water breathing, cure disease, water walking. Um, invisibility, healing. So basically, if it's one of these glass bottles, or if it's one of these green bottles, that's or blue bottles, that's what we're going to be buying. So We can safely assume if it's not in a glass or it's not in one of them blue bottles, it's not what we're looking for. So blue bottle, and then, let's see, green. Yeah, the slim, slim silver is what it looks like, or slim glass. Water walking. We're going to try and buy water walking potions prior to using the spell. Um, because it seems like I'll have a better chance at walking over water for much longer. Um, if I use the... 
if I use the water walking potions. Because that means it's less... Um, it's less spell casting I gotta worry about. <clears throat> Since there is no way to go ahead and restore my spell casting. Water walking, nice, right off the top. Yep, this is pretty much going to be our uh, our thing here, so... I hope you guys like looking at this, this menu. Because this is what I'm going to be looking at. Okay, water walking, slow falling. Bye. <clears throat> How much do I have so far? Ten and ten. Not enough. We need, like, a ton of this stuff. If I could craft it myself, I would. But it is not in the cards to craft. Slow falling stamina. <coughs> Levitation, disability. Nope. Stamina. Hey, Chad, welcome back. How you doing? This is going to be the very long part where uh, I have to buy a ton of uh, potions. So, I hope you like shops. Potions of stamina and water walking. It's pretty much everything I'm buying here. Luckily, they keep restocking every time I exit. Um, so, I'm able to go ahead and just continuously uh, grab stuff from them. I'm probably going to have to need to go ahead and uh, rank up at some point so I can start crafting potions. Um, because I feel like buying potions is just going to be a pain in the ass later. Water breathing... That and water walking. I wish I could buy like bulk order of stuff here. I'm definitely gonna spend like 9,000 gold here. Water breathing. I'm just trying to get everything that I need together. Low falling stamina. Skinny bottles. Nope, no skinny bottles. Nothing skinny. Stamina. Nothing skinny. We're going to have to save every once in a while just in case I accidentally hit that steal button. Stamina. That's good. Water breathing. Water walking. Levitation. I'm doing fine. Just finished watching the Cuphead show. It's great, but it ends the season with a cliffhanger. The Cuphead show. Did they? Huh. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, stamina, cure disease, cure poison by. Let's see how much I've got. 19 and 16. Oh, I don't need water breathing. Get that out of here. Water walking. That's what I'm looking for. So what even is it about? Is it like the game, the movie? You know what I mean. You know, when people basically make the game and then they make it into a show... Or, uh, it's the exact same thing, just rehashed. You know, I always like to refer to it as the game, the movie. It's like that, um... Water breathing. It's like that one movie that I saw. It's considered, like, one of the longest movie titles. It's like, Day of the Dawn of, of the Night of something, something, Dead of the Sun. It's just got this super... Ridiculously long, unnecessary title. Levitation. Levitation. I really do want to know if there's going to be something under the water. That would be really cool. Go under the water, find out there's actually, like, a dungeon down there. Water walking. Uh, or, like, chests that nobody's bothered to get. Because nobody's ever bothered to uh, go into the water because it's such a pain to swim. You know, they wouldn't introduce all of these, like... This vast ocean of water without introducing, like... Something like that. Not in my opinion, anyway. We're gonna get about a hundred of these things. Water walking. Uh, the TV series is like Looney Tunes or uh, Tom and Jerry. Each episode is different. Main story is the devil trying to get Cuphead's soul. Ah, I see. Stamina. My potions, water walking. I guess we can safely assume if I buy one stamina or one water walking, they won't have any more, so... This is such a tedious process. I feel like I really should have done this at night, but I was having way too much fun. With, uh, fun being a very loose term uh, with Elden Ring. Can't say Elden Ring is fun. I will say the club, surprisingly good weapon for, for just being that starter weapon. I did manage to go ahead and get, like, what I consider the be-all, end-all of all weapons, and I'll probably end up... Uh, trying to see if I can spec into it, which is going to be real difficult. Um, it's a weapon that causes bleed, so... My favorite weapon used to cause bleed. The only problem that I have with it is it's a, it's a type of dagger. Um, so, you know, not exactly the strongest or longest reach.
give me a whole bunch of water walking, I wouldn't say they got very much stamina in here. One oh nine. Huh. Must have been a lot of them. Lots of people are just uh, running around the Lionel in the first area. They don't know you can sneak attack. You can sneak and avoid the fight. Yeah, I've definitely uh, definitely tried my my run in with it, and then I figure I'll come back to it eventually. I've actually avoided quite a few like things in this in the game so far. I have avoided fighting quite a lot of stuff. Because I'm just not ready to do it. I'm definitely not equipped for it, so... 43. Ah, I wonder if all of my buying is, uh... Causing the price to go up. I don't know if that's how that works, but, I mean... I mean, it's fine if he keeps jacking up the price. I'm not so worried about that. I'm just trying to get what I need. It does seem like they're getting less... Yeah, 64... Um, uh, buy for 43. Stamina, 32. Water walking. It does seem like the price is going up very slowly. 128 for this water walking. 109. Yep, seems like the price is going up as I'm buying them. I guess they know that they can fleece me for whatever they want. Water walking. Yeah, so it was 64 for this last water walking potion. She's, she's still playing. In Morrowind, the shops have uh, limited stock inventory. Yeah, I figured that's the case. You know, I remember in the other Elder Scrolls games, like, it's not like you could just walk 192. Why? Let's see. Oh, it's because it's two and two. Okay, they're not fleecing me. They're just giving more. Uh, I'm just getting more of a particular one. Okay, I guess that works. I'm fine if they're charging me more for larger amounts. Okay, let's see what we have so far. We have 32 and 41. We need a hundred of each. That's what we're going for here. Uh, Lovecrust is having a bad time. Lovecrust? Oh, Lovecrust? <laughs> uh, I think it's just more, you know, it's a new game and everything. Just takes time to adjust to it. You know how it is. Stamina. Yep. Buy some more stamina. Water breathing. I don't need that. I need water walking. 
Hey, three potions of water walking. I'll take that. F9 to save. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty boring episode, I am betting. Uh, it's going to be a lot of spamming potions and walking across waters. But, you know, you can say that you've actually seen it done. I'm glad that, uh... I'm glad that Propane reminded me that it has to be done that way. Alright, might as well be done. Already submitted my timesheets. Slow falling, stamina, nothing else. Okay. I mean, I've had a bad time in that damn game. Like, let me tell you, there is a boss that, like, I'm trying to fight in there. And you think it's some, yep, praise RK. You think it would be some easy old man. You know, it's a Dark Souls, it's a Souls game. You'll never have that. Um, but... Like, his attack pattern is just so off. Sometimes his attacks are slow. Sometimes his attacks are fast. I think that, like, I'm going to be able to go ahead and dodge out of the way of a certain attack or something. Uh, but then it turns out that he's using a completely different attack stance. So I'm having, like, some pretty serious trouble with one of the first big bosses of the game already. I, it's going to take time. I'll, I'll eventually figure it out, but mainly it just until I learn that uh, the pattern of attack. How you doing, Propane? Or walking. Stamina. Stamina. Water walking. Stamina. <sighs> Stamina. Water walking. This is the life. Buying potions. This is my life now. At least I can, like, kind of recognize the bottles. Or at least recognize if they're the type of bottle that I could be, be getting. Water breathing and water walking share a bottle type, so I gotta be careful. Alright, sitting on 50 and 53. I'm surprised there's no dragons or griffins flying around in the background. <laughs> So it's funny you would mention buying, like, uh, dragons and griffin. I encountered my first dragon in Elden Ring. Uh, yeah. I, I was not looking forward to it. I had a health bar and everything, so I was like, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on my merry way. I'll come back for it eventually, but. I'm kind of bothered that, like, the weapon that I really want to use, I'm going to have to take a look through a lot of their stuff because the club is a very good weapon for being a starter weapon. But I got to figure out water walking. Exact. How do what? Um, raising your endurance. Endurance is equipment load. I actually used to run strictly heavy equipment. 
Um, and you basically get it so that way your character can, uh, your character is capable of just holding on to everything. So even when they're, like, heavily loaded down, they're still considered a light character. Water breathing. Stamina. Water walking. I wonder what the strength of these potions are in comparison to, like, a regular spell. Two water walking potions. On the high end there. Alright, F9. Uh, have you played Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword? I have not. Don't. Bl okay. The fucking mechanics in Skyward Sword, especially on the Wii, were so ass. She is a Even very. When they tried to remaster it, they couldn't fix it. That's how bad it was. She is a very big fan of Legend of Zelda, and, uh... Every Legend of Zelda fan knows that the fucking game mechanics are never bad. Listen, don't blame Zelda for his inability to go ahead... <laughs> Why? You know what you did. I don't know what I did. What did I do wrong? Uh, but no, I haven't played Skyward Sword. I've actually always wanted to play Skyward Sword. It seemed like really interesting. Uh, it seemed like a pretty interesting game. And I know despite the fact that a lot of people give it a lot of, uh, a lot of shit for its mechanics and everything, it doesn't change the fact that I still want to try it. I mean, everybody always disparages it. But, like, that doesn't... <laughs> It's kind of like saying, why would you ever play that game? It's absolute garbage kind of thing. And, like, disparaging something somebody wanted to try out kind of stuff. So, yeah. I, that's why I don't knock on other games. I may not like their mechanics and stuff, and I may not like the games in general. And I'll say my opinion, but I won't ever knock anybody for playing it. Because if you're having fun, you're having fun at the end of the day. Hmm. Okay, what are we sitting at? 66 and 66. I have to I have to buy so many because I have to think about the trip there and the trip back, not just the trip there. So, even though... <sighs> Sam, I haven't played it, but the story is before the first game. Um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Sky Skyward Sword is considered the very first in the Legend of Zelda timeline. Which, sometimes I have a hard time believing, because, like... They really switch their shit around. Alright, catch you later, Demon Pumpkin. Thanks for popping in. Uh, water walking. Like Resident Evil 6. Uh, and Saints Row 4 that everybody hated. I didn't think Saints Row 4 was that bad. Honestly. Um, it certainly wasn't a Saints Row 3. But it, I don't think it was that bad. People gave it a lot of shit, and I think they were expecting it to just be another rehash of Saints Row 3. And I think they really wanted to get out there and try out some new ideas. And 
the fan base just didn't didn't want it. So now, now because the fan base didn't want it, we're getting what I consider to be a very garbage-looking Saints Row. Uh, with this new this new one that's coming out. I cannot say that I like the look of this new Saints Row at all. I also don't know if this is going to, like... Frankly, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm buying 100 potions with the intent of it working. But what it comes down to is if I burn through more than 50 of them on the way there, um, I'm still going to have a problem. And that problem is I won't be able to get back. <laughs> I can probably, like, spell cast, but I don't know how my uh, thaumaturgy is going to look. Um, water walking. I don't know how long it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually last. I'll test it before anything else. I have to test a number of things. One, I need to test uh, if the horse counts as water walking while you're riding it. Uh, so that way I can conserve stamina. Two, I need to see how long uh, my water walking is going to last. So that way I can calculate a number. And see how long I need to go ahead and walk. Because if I can walk over there without, um, just by using my spells and stuff, I'll be fine. I've spent, like, 4,000 gold here just buying these potions. This is crazy. 73, 78... I don't think this is what they intended. This is like people sitting outside of the loot cave, firing inside in Destiny. Not the intended way to play it. But I mean, hey, if, if this is how I'm going to play it, the fact that they give people the option to play it this way is still freaking cool. That means somebody out there was like, hmm... What if somebody just tries to cross the oceans and they need a good way to go ahead and get potions and stuff? And this is the unintended consequence. <laughs> Water breathing. Slow falling. Nope. No more walking. Stamina. Have you seen the old Zelda cartoons? Yeah, the best ones. The absolute greatest peak of animation. There is no better anime than the Zelda cartoons. Man, if only anime of today could be better than the Zelda cartoons. Alright, um, slow falling, healing, strength. She's gotta go to work later, unfortunately. I think by later I mean soon. Uh, but yeah, the old Zelda cartoons are pretty funny. There was a really hilarious one where somebody took the, uh, Zelda, the old, uh, Zelda cartoons and synced it with Beavis and Butthead. That was, that was hilarious listening to. Okay, we have 81 and 91. Just buy until, uh...
lot of breathing, levitation. I, I remember when there was an April Fool's thing that came out where some guy made an awesome looking trailer for Legend of Zelda. Uh, and everybody was just completely baffled by it, thinking that there was going to be a Legend of Zelda um, movie or something that was coming out. And I remember when Netflix was supposed to make a Legend of Zelda uh, series, but I don't know what happened to that. Disappeared into the sunset like a lot of things Netflix has planned. Stamina, water walking... water walking, stamina. If if we get extras, I'm not worried. I mean, just keep going until there's at least 100 in each of these stacks. Jeez, it's going to be giving me a ton of water walking, but like no stamina. See what we're looking at. 100 water walking, 89 stamina. So we'll just keep buying water walking if they come up along with the stamina potions. Better safe than sorry, right? And I'll take broke over drowning. The fact that I gotta weigh myself down this much with all these potions. Luckily, I can put them in the cart, so even if I'm sitting there on the ocean, I can just go ahead and pull out my cart. I need five more stamina potions. We'll probably get a lot more water walking potions, but... Stamina. Okay, this is what, three more? Three more. Walking, levitation, stamina. Think we need one more stamina potion? Alright, let's check. Alright, 100 and 107. This is going to be our, our go-to here. So, we're going to have to just hope for the best here. I have a, a something that I need to do before anything else. I need to calculate just... Oh, is it no longer winter? Holy shit. I've been here so long, it's no longer winter. All right. So, I need a test to see how long uh, my water walking will last. Give me just a moment here. Stopwatch. And water test. Because if it's about a minute, uh, I should be able to... Well, excuse me, princess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what somebody was thinking when they made that. Probably the same people who made the, you know, the Phillips uh, 
CDI stuff. The really bad uh, Legend of Zelda game. Okay, so about 48 seconds. You're out of touch uh, and out of time buying potions. Yeah, that was what it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, So 37 times 47. Because that'll roughly be about how much it is. 37 times 47. 1,739. Okay. Um, 1,739 seconds to hours and minutes to minutes uh can you just give me to the like the freaking two minutes okay so just under 1000 oh, is that correct that's 1739 37 times 47. So just under half an hour is what, how much water walking I'll have. Uh, so the next question becomes, can I water walk with the horse? And we are going to go ahead and put the, uh, this adamantium thing away into the wagon. Need to remove some of my uh, anything that's going to weigh me down. Okay. So let's get outside. Get on horse. I need to find a thing deep enough. So let's get on foot, find some place that would be, uh, deep, I guess. I don't think there is one here, but... Alright, so, uh, I guess let's go ahead and do it. So, let's go ahead and do it as, uh, Potion Day. We are heading towards this coast area over here. So we need to go ahead and head um, west, mostly west, slight south. Okay, so we're going to be heading this direction here. Gotta head to that tiny corner of the peninsula so we can start the run. Now, I have two sections that I'm gonna have to do, so... Really, the reason I'm saving there, and we'll be doing quick saves, but... That solid save is going to be just in case I need to buy more potions for some damn reason. Which is a pretty big possibility. Because I don't have to cross... I don't just need to cross one. I need to cross two bodies of water. Crossing the first body of water isn't enough. 
because I think the second one is a larger one. So. But you know what? Let's also test to see how far I can run with the stamina that I currently have. So just outside, let's go ahead and start at 46. Okay, running, no jumping. I know I'm missing a little bit of stamina, but I can roughly guess how, how long it's going to be just based off of how much stamina I use. Yeah, this is going to be the real make or break. It's it's definitely possible to do, but like it's just going to determine how how difficult it's going to be. So we started at 46. Rusty Jin. So it took about a minute, 2 minutes. Three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we should be the stronger the spell becomes. We should be approaching, we should get there in 20 minutes total. So in 20 minutes, we should hit the peninsula. Uh, it looks like with my current, the Steam Deck launch today, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, it's a handheld. I think it's pretty cool. I, I would love to own one. Because there's a lot of things on Steam that I would really like to play. You know, on a handheld, but... Eh? Can you imagine? I could actually go ahead and play, like... Morrowind and Oblivion on a handheld. Um, I actually had the chance to go ahead and buy one of the Steam PCs. They looked pretty cool. Uh, I do have one of the Steam controllers, which I really like those things. They took a little bit. It took a little bit to get used to because of the touchpad uh, crosshair joystick things. Um, but the extra buttons on the back of the controller are pretty nice. Yeah, I think the Steam Deck is pretty cool. Uh, I'm hoping that they don't, like, it doesn't go the PSP route, though. I think a lot of people are buying it up uh, just because of collector's value, which is unfortunate because I think that it has the capability to really change that we, the, the way we do handhelds uh, the same way that Nintendo did. But, like, having access to your Steam library, that is that is wonderful yeah I wish I owned one maybe at some point I mean, I do have a PS Vita, which I think is a phenomenal game system for a handheld. 
Uh, it's just unfortunate that it didn't get the support it needed. <clears throat> you know, also, the fact that they stopped Elden Ring runs on it. Huh. That's crazy, being able to play Elden Ring on a handheld. That's hilarious. Yeah, imagine playing Ark on a handheld. I mean, hell, imagine, uh... What's a super? Imagine playing Path of Exile on a handheld. That's, I think, the coolest part. If it could even handle it. I wonder how some of those games are going to run, because Path is an ARPG, so it requires kind of a lot of those buttons. So I wonder if there's certain games that are just be too difficult to run. Not because of, like, graphics intensity, just because of button requirements and such. Hmm. What about you? What do you think about it? You excited? You think it's the next step in uh, in handhelds? I know that the Switch was one hell of an upgrade. You know, the fact that it is both a handheld and, and capable of, of running console stuff, being able to put it on a TV, that really sets it apart. From what I've heard, that they're also not going to limit the way people go ahead and do things with their Steam Deck, so, like... If you need to do maintenance or repairs, or if you decide you want to jailbreak it or whatnot, uh, it seems that they're not going to go ahead and regulate that kind of stuff. So I wonder how the, uh, the whole hacking community is going to approach it. Get one of those things, allow it to go ahead and self-run stuff, just completely circumvent the, uh, some of the catches that games and Steam themselves would run. Uh, it's finally a handheld without crappy hardware looking at you, Nintendo. <laughs> I don't think they're that bad. I mean, Joystick Drift was pretty terrible. You know. And battery life could be a bit better. I don't think Nintendo stuff is too bad. We can afford to, to run a little bit longer here. We'll wait until we get to the bottom part of the knuckle. Instead of the top. We have a lot of, uh... A lot of fatigue points to go through. A lot of stamina. Ooh, maybe we can run for almost ten minutes straight? actually closing up on it right now and that'll give me a good feel for how far I can run in about 10 minutes I wonder if enemies change based on the seasons I assume not
you know, permafrost and winter melts away and thus more skeletons pop up because they're not frozen in place and it's easier for them to break out of the earth. Alright, once we get to 56, I'll go ahead and pop up here. I can't believe that I've almost been broadcasting for an hour now. It barely even feels like it. I meant hardware-wise, the Nintendo Switch is extremely outdated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, gotcha. I thought you meant hardware as in, you know, the controller, j like, drift and all of those kinds of issues. Which, they are legitimate issues. Okay, so... From here to here, that means that, uh, take 10 minutes. Okay, so it'll probably take another half hour to get there. have to put everything into the uh, into the wagon I can't afford to keep it all you know what, let's let's put these into the wagon here Yeah, we'll just keep casting Thaumaturgy every time, rather than increasing my stamina. Good question. Let me also check how much does that giant 80. Okay. Good source of levels and stuff. A young street urchin presses a dress. Obviously, he is both deaf and mute. With a wave of frustration, you send him away. Oh, okay. Presses a letter into my hand. All right. Um, who will give you further instructions? A brother. The Dark Brotherhood has been watching you. You have slain without sanction several times. You must now join or be counted as a foe. Travel to Berg, uh, Tail and Daggerfall. And see Yizabeth Kingsfield, who will give you further instructions. The good thing is, it, it looks like it doesn't have a. It looks like it doesn't have a time period associated with it. Yeah, let me let me check that. I figured it would happen because of the um, because of being a werewolf and having to murder. Um. Let's see, is unofficial reputation in fact. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Dark Brotherhood letter Daggerfall. Acceptance test. Travel to the second. Bit of advice for anyone playing Daggerfall for the first time. It's not well designed at all. <laughs> if you, like me, are used to Skyrim. Too much trust in the journal to remind you of important quests. Write down the names of the Givian quests. For example, just completed a quest, tramp in the lake for blades, a letter from an agent, random town, somewhere in Sentinel. He then tells you to go to castle, retrieve a curse within X number of days. He never tells you what you're supposed to do with it once you have it. So you're supposed, you might mistakenly assume the game will give you information. Um, supposed to bring it back, except the journal doesn't tell you. Letters seem to mysteriously vanish over time. Not sure why some letters or others do. Dark Brotherhood invitation vanished almost instantly. And my journal said something like, I got a letter from the Dark Brotherhood. I dare not record what it said in my journal. Hmm. Alright, well, let me write down the Dark Brotherhood stuff just in case it decides to up and poof. Okay, Dark Brotherhood quests. Berg tail. Um, see Elizabeth Kingfield. Not bug tail, bird tail. Frickin' trying to make a Pixar movie over here. Okay. Done and done. Let's continue. Uh, but, water test. This is such a long journey. I wonder if somebody has attempted this sometime in the past. They're just so far gone that no one has attempted it again. Uh, I just got the pink Switch Lite this month from GameStop. I uh, played the new Pokemon Legend games, almost done with Outer Worlds. Frankly, I think the new Pokemon, like Pokemon Arceus Legends, is really damn good. Sure, it, I know a lot of people may not exactly enjoy it, but I mean, it's kind, it's on the way to the path of the Pokemon game we all want. But Outer Worlds is kind of meh. I wish I had been able to finish it, but my copy was glitched. Save it or inactive said uh, they're going to port Kingdom Come Deliverance to the Switch. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I haven't played it, but Luft says that it is uh, it is something I would enjoy. Kingdom Come Deliverance. I can't- I've already been broadcasting for an hour. It doesn't feel like it, at all. But, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance has choices that matter. 
but mm. you don't think that would matter. Okay. And a pretty intricate combat system. Hmm. Like if you took Dark Souls and For Honor and put it together. You know how in For Honor you have to do something a certain direction in order for it to walk a certain way? You should put it on your list. It's on my list, you know. It's the same thing with my anime list. It's forever long is the problem. There's so many things that I have to play or finally get around to that it, it takes a while for me to get to, to most games. That's why I just prefer these long challenges. Because even though I'm capable of doing, like, playing some games here or there, I don't really have much time to, to play a lot of these things, so... These challenges take up the majority of my time. Oh, you can take it. No, I, you can take it, though, if you, if you want to. could be upping my stamina, but I think the Thaumaturgy is going to be better. Sure, I could run for longer to get myself there, but I would just prefer to try and get a longer Thaumaturgy. Yeah. I mean, I you could put both, but I think that one is much better. Yeah, I think that one would sell better. Could you get me the the other one? Also, you haven't been throwing these away, have you? Okay. Yeah, because they're really cool. They have a star on them. Oh, why? General purpose. Why? Are they going to generally find them well themselves to the trash can? <laughs> what do you mean? You have a purpose for them, just Maybe I'll melt them down. Just like you did with the wax? That was different. No, it literally <laughs> wasn't. I'll keep it, I'm, I'll, I'll make something out of it. I do tend to really do that a lot. That's why I'm like, those are just slowly going to disappear. Okay, so... Uh, remember, this is just the region of Daggerfall. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware that there are much larger regions and stuff like that. I'm not complaining about it. It's just more my fingers. I should get a protractor. So I can press both of these keys at once. Oh, yeah, not a protractor. Um, a what? It's not a compass, is it? Oh. That looks very forced. I feel like you would have to, like, shave it down slightly to fit it, but... That is really nice. That would make for a good fantasy setting. As you walk into the groove. Because I know it's right there. It's real small and blended in. Yeah, that would never... Nope. I wouldn't be able to see that. That's the point. The customer's not supposed to see it. Yeah, but... You always want to mark your artwork so that they can just... They still can see it. So that way... Should I sign those eyes? No. You want them to work it into the artwork. I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of paintings actually do have the artist's signature on them. Or their symbol that is their signature on there. I mean, it's meant to be so that way you can say, this is my artwork. And they can say, hey, this is that person's artwork. It's not just for you to say, hey, don't take my artwork. It's also for them to say, hey, this is the person who did it. That's just as important.
Could you get my can from the fridge, please? But yeah, I would probably make your signature a lot more apparent. Make it so that way it can be seen. Like, there's no point in hiding it. You want to show people that it's your artwork, not hide it. Just my opinion, though, at the end of the day. At least it's gotten prettier. I think this is this is much prettier than what we uh, we had in Winter Time. When we get to the coast, we're gonna have to test to see if I can walk on water with the horse, and if I can, that'll be great. I'll also have to see how long water walking potions last. Uh, pretty sure every artist hates what they do. Do you hate what you do, babe? Sometimes. Just because of the clients. Yeah, I, it's more clientele. I mean, it's the same thing in every every profession. It's just a giant time sink sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I've done artwork. My artwork can be very detailed, but most of the time I just doodle. Um, I'm really good at making on-the-spot tattoo, like, uh, tattoo designs and stuff. That's where my expertise is. Uh, but I can make some really detailed pencil work. Um, my main medium is pen. I don't like working in, uh, I like working in very permanent states, so when you make a mark, you're forced to work with that mark. Not a lot of people like that kind of challenge, I guess. Uh, I was looking for background noise for a drive, and my favorite streamer is online. Nothing else. You're consistently consistent. Um, yeah, I do try in between the hours of 3.15 Eastern Standard and 5.15 Eastern Standard, I will start my stream. More likely than not, it's closer to 3, and if not, it'll be between that time. The latest I think I will start is 6 o'clock. I mean, I'll always start. So, if you don't see me earlier than, than 5, I will always start, but usually I have something going on. Uh, that's stopping me from starting if you don't see it before then. But yeah, I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of time here. Just gotta run towards the, uh, towards the coast. and it's now just telling me my thing is giving out? Dang. Maybe it is a lot more than I was giving it credit for. Um... What do you think it's worth? Well, as the one-off as it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be 150 because it took me 12 hours to make that. Mind you, that only reports time when I'm actually doing work, not just when the project is open. Um, what? That... Yeah, but... Versus a print versus the original product. You also have to think about the... The size. You know, 
and you have to think about the clientele. That is a nice picture. That is a very nice picture. Uh, any, I was going to say anywhere between 40 and 60 would be mine. So, I, anywhere between 45 and 60. That's a good price range for that. You technically could charge 80, but if you'd have to have a slightly larger look to it. But... Alright, let me keep going on my way here. Yeah, it looks like this spell, this this water walk lasted for uh for a lot longer than I gave it credit for. Seemed like it almost lasted like three hours. Uh what does Luftkust draw? Um So she she works in an art studio, number one. In the disc, yeah. Um, this is, this is safe. But she she mainly does not safe for work art, uh, but she also does a lot of uh, digital and uh, and also paint stuff as well. So yeah, the thing that she just worked on a commission for that apparently the dude didn't want to go ahead and pay for. Even after all of that work. Because they couldn't make it, she couldn't make it into a poster. Love crust sounds dirty as fuck. I mean, I showered. Loved crust. Don't call me that! <laughs> um, Shame. No, it's not. Oh, you said Um, but yeah, it's. So she does. She does all kinds of artwork, mainly not safe for work stuff. Um, it but pays. it's not that I'm a super dirty person. Is that someone asked me to do it once when I was in college, and I'm like, "Oh, you'll pay me for this? Cool!" And they give me a lot of money for it. And I'm like, Wait "Okay, a minute. I can draw this for a living." Yeah. I can draw wolves for, for money. <laughs> circle, 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 dot. Yeah, but yeah, she makes she makes pretty good money out of it, honestly. Um, like surprisingly good money. Uh, how many people have tried to play to pay Luft in exposure? How many exposure bucks you've gotten? Surprisingly, through my art only once or twice. Through my modeling, it's yeah, it happens. Yeah, she used to also do modeling as well. Um. But yeah, she she was saying her modeling career, people always try to do that shit all the time. Well, at the beginning, you have to. Yeah, because you need to get out there. But yeah, people in the modeling world uh, will definitely always try and take advantage well, of any of the models and stuff. Yeah, but that's kind of like an unpaid internship. It's like an unpaid internship kind of thing, but... Um, alright. Have fun. Um, but yeah, she hasn't, she hasn't really, uh, she hasn't really been paid an exposure in, in artwork. Somebody tried it once. But mainly, the, the thing that, she's mainly been paid for everything. Recently, it's kind of become a thing where some people are just trying to go ahead and get the artwork and then skedaddle. So, cool. She works in an art studio. Oh yeah, I think it's cool. Huh? I'm sure she thinks it's cool what? that you work in an art studio. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. She's probably starving because, she, like, she wasn't eating that whole time. Food, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and she's told me be- Huh? Yeah. Yes, please and thank you. I was talking more design, uh, my YouTube logo, I'll pay you with a shout out for, to my followers. No. Yeah, that's- that's a no. We've- we've already gone through, even for one of my friends, uh, for his company, we st Yeah, so. At the end of the day, regardless, she's still gonna charge. Tried following a Bob Ross painting video, but it didn't turn out well. Everybody has the capability to go ahead and do artwork. It's just... Oh, I read a lot of Choosing Beggars. <laughs> so have I. I love choos Choosing Beggars, I think. is Choosing Beggars is pretty funny. Um, r slash Facepalm is pretty good. White People Twitter is pretty good. There's some There's some pretty fun fun subreddits out there. I don't know. I am. I'm part of some some out there ones. R slash unexpected or abrupt chaos are by far my favorite. Um, insane parents occasionally, occasionally is good, but most of the time it's just like it seems manufactured. Um, let's see. Brutal beatdowns. Oh goodness, that is a <laughs> that is a can of worms, man. You never know what you're getting into when you go into that one. Just like it's uh, it's it's definitely almost as bad as fifty fifty. All right, I'm trying to get this open with one hand. They don't really have nails. There we go. I don't have I don't really drink soda that much anymore, but man, do I have a weakness for energy drinks. Which is so much fucking worse. Alright, let's see how far we've come. Oh shit! Almost at the water. Better head straight west from here. Where's that? It's a town is what it is. Whaling... Ascension of Kinrath. Man, Kinrath everywhere. Hmm. Just gotta get to that peninsula. I've discovered three monsters is the magical number for turning your, your piss green. What? Why would you do that? That is terrible. After recovering from COVID, I've been drinking a lot of Gatorade. Gatorade is good and bad at the exact same time. A lot of people don't realize that a standard um, serving of Gatorade, I believe, is just eight ounces. So when you're downing a whole bottle of Gatorade, you're putting just like a ton of of servings into you. Also makes you vibrate uncontrollably and convince yourself that you're, uh, DT. <laughs> That's funny. I don't get the jitters off of, uh, off of energy drinks and stuff. I mean, I could, I can drink an energy drink and then just go to bed. Like, that, that doesn't, that you're dying. Oh, I thought that you meant you could convince yourself you're detaching. <laughs> Sometimes I can't word. Yeah, I definitely thought you meant detaching. Uh, 
enemies nearby. Thaumaturgy has improved. Good stuff. Just a giant. What a, get, on the, get on the ground. Wagon. Oh, oh, okay, it's still there. Thought it just disappeared. Tried cucumber Gatorade flavor. Once, not my favorite. I can't imagine it's many people's favorite flavor. I guess cucumber water is is a thing people like. Never really drank energy drinks, uh, but I have a bad addiction to regular sodas. Yeah, I knew this guy who had an addiction to, uh, what was it? I think either Coke or Pepsi or something. Literally, he, just, he had drank so much of it, uh, he would get headaches, just like people who don't have coffee. Yeah, I try not to have too many, too much of anything. Uh, my weakness is salty stuff, though. I really like salty things. Well over sweet stuff. I don't have a problem with, like, sweet things. Cheesecake is my all-time favorite uh, dessert. But I only have, like, cheesecake once or twice a year. Same thing with, like, uh, Red Lobster and stuff like that. I used to go to Red Lobster for my birthday. My tradition was Red Lobster and a cheesecake. And that was my tradition for my birthday. No longer, um, because Red Lobster is a piece of shit. And, uh, mainly I, I still do have cheesecake every year, so. Luft has been trying to figure out new traditions that I can make. Because a lot of the stuff that I used to do has just disappeared over the years with one thing or another. 86%. Ooh. So, what is that? Must be a something. Homes? Temples? I don't know what temple, temple or town that is. I don't see it on my map, so... Oh, maybe it's this one. Wilderham. Wait, did Wilderham have a... Uh... Wilderford. Not Wilderham. Warham was the other one. I mean, I guess it'd be good to stop in and see what they actually have here. So just in case I need to take a break. Oh, uh, I need to do something here. It'll help. Let's see. Small place. Very small place. Oop. Hold on. King's Warehouse. Lion and Dragon, Fox and Griffin, that's all they have here. Okay, let's keep going west then. So this is kind of along the coast. The next thing we should run into is this bat and guard thing. Um, in ten minutes, I think... You know what? It's a good time to test it out. Let's head south towards the ocean. It's a good time to test if I can use the horse. Bought a can of salt and vinegar pickles once to stop a coworker from stealing them, and now they're my favorite. <laughs> That's funny. 
Luft, Luft does the same thing. Um, I don't mind, like, I'm not a big fan of salt and vinegar. I just don't like vinegar. Um, so she definitely gets, like, salt and vinegar chips, so I won't eat them. Um, sour cream and onion I'm fine with, you know. I don't really like barbecue that much. The barbecue in general, I don't like that much. Call me sacrilegious or whatever, but... Alright, T. Go on horse here. Why do I feel like this horse is slower? I mean, it's gonna eat less stamina, but I still feel like it is slower. Coastline has a lot of enemies, so I think we can definitely level up. like the smell of, don't like the smell of vinegar. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the, the taste of vinegar. If this thing can water walk, man, it's going to make my travel easy. Oh, yep. So the horse counts as water walking as long as I have the spell. Perfect. That, that answers my questions. Tells me everything I need to know. So yeah, we should easily be able to go ahead and do the whole crossing the ocean thing. I don't think we'll have an issue at all. Hated them at first, but I paid for them, so I ate them. Now I won't eat any of them. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we eat a lot of popcorn just because popcorn is a lot healthier than uh, a lot of the other alternatives. You are healed. Levitating, of course, is the best thing ever. Yeah, here there's a way to go ahead and pull out a horse indoors, but then you can't get out because it doesn't let you use the uh, travel menu and such. feel like from here on out it is just going to be a very long journey but it's good that we can we can water walk the horse that's going to help a lot it means my stamina potions may not actually get used we're too far out to like attempt to get to the island that's where we're trying to get to that peninsula as close as we can to the uh, shore so we can do both of them. What we'll do is when we get to the edge, cast out um, cast out the first water walking, get on the horse, start going, cast out all the rest of the water walking, and just go as far as we can. And when that water walking starts giving out, then we'll start cracking potions as we need to. The stamina is there just in case I have to swim for some reason. Oh, that's right, because a minute in game, that would explain why it lasts longer than I thought it would. Okay, because game time and real time don't actually line up. Yep, there's that. 
Ow. Yeah, I feel like today's stream isn't going to be too popular, though. Um, that Elder, that Elden Ring stream really fucked up my channel. Threw the algorithm into a whole whack. So, I'm going to have to, like, burn my way back up to where I was before. I should have really broadcast on Twitch. That way I didn't mess up my algorithm. At the end of the day, I am chained to it, so... And I make a lot of the, the broadcasting decisions that I, uh, that I have based on, on j that little invisible elf. Yeah. It's interesting, after the year of Ark, I learned, like... Likes and subs really do matter on a channel. Um, comments matter a lot on a channel, so I found that comments are, I guess, important. Nobody ever really leaves comments, so I'm not really too concerned about it. My channel progresses regardless. Um, everybody says that live streams will kill a channel, but live streams have literally helped my channel grow. So, I will not knock on them. Um, broadcasting in concession, a particular game helps so the more that you broadcast the more your channel specializes but it also has the adverse effect of forcing your channel into a particular shell so if you're doing the same the same thing it's just why i won't play fortnite ever um for the channel not because it's a bad game but because once you do you're gonna put yourself into a shell you can't get out of and fortnite is a very very difficult um algorithm to escape once you're in it but these old school things and these challenges, yeah, no problem. But yeah, according to my stats, only 10 people have checked out this video as of an hour and a half in. So that Elden Ring stream really done goofed it. I think I'll have to delete it rather than unlist it. To force it to remove the stats from my channel. And I, even then, I don't know if it's going to or not. Hmm. What's my thaumaturgy up to? 37%. It's not bad. Not bad at all, considering it's a skill that I didn't put a damn thing into. Or even consider putting anything into either. So, for any of you who have, like, done the whole swimming thing and really hate it, have you checked to see if there's anything under the water? Like if there's chests or, or dungeons or anything else under there? Or have you just assumed that they would never go ahead and program it? Because nobody would ever take the idiotic thing that I'm about to do and swim through the oceans or walk on top of them. There's the uh, speedrunner I follow. Mm -mm -mm. Old school games attract older gamers. Better conversation makes uh, shows much more fun. More people come out of the, coming out of the rain. Yeah, so I've noticed. I think that's that's kind of where Arc came in to begin with. Uh, you're growing steadily at around three to four subs a day. Yeah, and that's that's how it started. Last year, I started my channel with 27 subs at the beginning of the year. Um, I would say 
I had quite a substantial amount of growth. And even now, I think the channel is going to go ahead and grow. I don't think there'll be any ch any problem with that. But broadcasting anything but the challenge I'm currently working on tends to really screw it up. So, if ever there is a game or something that you want me to play, I'll play it on Twitch, but I just won't play it on YouTube. Mainly because I need to keep the my numbers going. There's definitely not dungeons underwater, but I have no idea if there's loot. Can you imagine? There's sunken ships and stuff at the bottom of the ocean, but nobody ever goes there. Because nobody swims. <laughs> oh man, that would be awesome. Maybe we'll go ahead and check the ocean first before casting that water walk. I mean, we still got plenty of time. It is currently... It is the 11th of First Seed. And she gave me the... Uh, she gave me the quest in... Let's see. Knights of Sun's Dawn. Let's see what that amounts to. Months of the year... In Elder Scrolls. Okay, so Sun's Dawn, first seed. Sun's Dawn is February, first seed is obviously March. Um, let's see, and she gave it to me on. The ninth of Sun's Dawn, and it is currently the 11th of First Seed. So 30 days, uh, roughly about 30 days, 32 days have passed. And I have 35 days to, 135 days to complete the quest, so. Doable. Easily. I mean, I may have a little bit of, uh, I'll probably have about half. Maybe about 30, 40 days left, I think, by the time I'm done. It could be even more. Sorry, I'm just stretching. Uh, it really just depends on how fast I get to wherever I'm going, but... I think I should be more than fine. Today's probably going to be a long stream, by the way. So if any of you guys just let you know. I feel like broadcasting for a long time. Because I'm I'm really on a roll here. And I'm pretty laser focused into what I'm doing. As much as I want to go ahead and get my ass smashed in Elden Ring, I am very much about Elder Scrolls at this moment. Alright, where are we at right now? Get in there. Get in there. Alright, rest until... Actually, hold on. Rest is F9 first. Always save, because I don't know when I'm going to fall through. Let's burn back through my stamina, and then we'll go ahead and save before we rest again. So that last dungeon that I was in is considered a large dungeon... I, I can see why it's considered a large dungeon, but I was also expecting it to be a lot bigger than it was. So I assume that was a big dungeon, but certainly nowhere near the largest. Because when I watched the uh, when I watched the speed run uh, for the guy doing Daggerfall, 
I saw that the Worm King's dungeon was humongous. Uh, and it looks like the one over in Nullfunga's, whatever it is, out in the mountains, that also looks to be a humongous dungeon. I'm wondering if I could even get there and back in time. Elden Ring isn't going anywhere. First open world Souls game, people are going to be interested in it for years. I'm really curious to see what the speedrunning community will do to it. I mean, this game's not going anywhere anyway. <laughs> Frankly, I mean, I'm surprised so as many people are interested in it as they are. I know it brings a lot of old school gamers out of the woodwork and everything to come look at it. But I'm just, I'm always flabbergasted that, like, people are interested in this at all. Oh, hold on. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove that completely from the channel here. Delete. Yep, I understand I am permanently deleting this Elden Ring video. But that's fine. Prefer it not to go against the the grain here. Hell, uh, first playthroughs of Dark Souls 1 are still popular. Yeah, people like blind playthroughs and difficult games. Hey, you saw me looking at you? You wanted a pet? I got your pet right here, girl. Get your pet right here. You doing okay? You need a bath. You're starting to stink a little. Um, let's see. People playing and discovering new stuff in uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I've seen some of the stuff people do in Breath of the Wild. That nonsense where they go, you know, surfing on top of all kinds of stuff, launching themselves across the map. You know, it's pretty crazy as some of the shit people do. Elder Scrolls is a franchise that has been a huge part of several generations of gamers. Yeah, kind of like how Diablo was. Um, I was a little... I was disappointed in Diablo 3. I thought it was a decent game. Um, but I was also kind of really disappointed... It didn't live up to what Diablo 2 did. Um, the auction house definitely screwed a lot of things up. I mean, I made some decent money on the auction house, but it doesn't change that it really screwed a lot of the game. I think I sold a pretty good witching hour back when um, it was still a popular belt. Alright, F9. Let's see where we are. Closing in. short and simplified. Yeah. It definitely felt a little short. I can agree with that. So we'll go west until we hit a certain point. Probably until we hit another, uh, until we hit the coast again from west. We'll just keep going west. When we hit the coast again, that's when we'll go ahead and, uh, Start our journey across the ocean. They took out PvP in Diablo 3, and that uh, new Diablo 2 remaster is a mess. Yeah. I didn't pre-order it. I'm interested in ARPGs, but... The fact that since Path of Exile's new... Arch Nemesis is phenomenal. Arch Nemesis brought everything that I loved about the original uh, when I started playing Path back. Because um, I was always a self, uh, a self-casting spellcaster, so instead of like having some skill that allowed it to cast from that location, uh, like totems or, or brands or something, 
uh, I always cast for myself. And they made self-casting a hell of a lot better. Like, to the point where I actually am really enjoying my game again. Hey, you and Dunning. Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Um, it lacks the epicness and scope of Diablo 2, plus they killed Deckard, Kane, and I'll never forgive that. <laughs> yeah, he was a lot of people's favorite, wasn't he? I don't know. I think I thought the game was was okay. I did. I played a lot of Diablo 3. Um, but, you know, Path of Exile will always be my, my bread and butter. Lost Ark is pretty damn good. I haven't had too much time to play it. Obviously, the stream pretty much takes up most of my time. Um, but yeah, Lost Ark was not bad at all. For what I have played, I really enjoy it. I'm also playing a very apparently difficult class to play, but... Not too bad, just reminiscing on some old games came across the stream. Wow, the nostalgia. Well, welcome. A lot of the people who are tuning in are uh, also getting their their slam of nostalgia here. Um, and I'm doing pretty well myself. You know, got off work, came over here, started, started working on the stream. You came in at a good time because I'm pretty laser focused on what I'm doing right now. Um, so it's going to be a longer stream than usual. So, yeah, you came in at a great time. Also, because I was surprised nobody was finding the stream at all. Usually, the stream has a lot more people and stuff, but I played some Elden Ring yesterday and it really fucked up my algorithm. So, I expect it to take a couple days to go ahead and get back into sync. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so, since we got a couple things and this is this is uh, basically bringing back some nostalgia. Where did you start in the Elder Scrolls series? What is your favorite Elder Scrolls, and which race do you play? I am always an Argonian. Uh, my favorite was Oblivion, and uh, Oblivion was actually my entry into the series. I've also never played Skyrim, so that might be why, too. Uh, have you seen the trailer for that new steampunk giant monsters survival game? Can't remember the name, but it looked crazy. Oh, you're talking, um... Ah, shit. Um, I don't know if they were steampunk, uh, monsters, but they were, they were giant machine things. And it was, it's, it's being touted as a destiny killer, which, let's be honest, every game gets touted as a destiny killer nowadays. Same how everybody was trying to tout their games as WoW killers, and I'm just like, listen, don't try and murder another game. Just make a game that's good enough that people just leave the other one alone on its own. Um, I think it's like something Raiders or something like, I, I don't remember. Oblivion and Dark Elf currently playing Skyrim for the hundredth time. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Lufkus, she, she's my fiancé and also mod right on the channel. She said she is super excited to see me play Skyrim. Um, I think a lot of people would be excited to see me play Skyrim, because I'm going to have my my uh, my camera on and everything. It's not like I hide my face, I just, just don't turn my camera on. Um, but yeah, my reactions are going to be pretty fucking genuine. Actually, somebody mentioned it in... Uh, our PlayStation group. Warframe? Warframe is pretty good. Hey, Joe. Welcome. How you doing today? Um, Warframe is really good. I really enjoy some Warframe. Uh, I play... My main is actually an Ivara, which is really... How come you've never played it? <laughs> okay, every time I've tried to play Skyrim, something has come up, and I've been unable to go ahead and do it. Um, let me think. So, I, I it's funny, because I actually have Skyrim VR on my PlayStation, but I've never gotten the chance to. I think I own it on Steam, and I've never gotten the chance to. Uh, the furthest I've ever gotten was... When, you know, you get out of the cart and you're in front of everybody else and then that dragon pops up on the tower. 
And that's about as far as I've gotten into the game. I have not been able to get any further. Um, I don't know. One, the first time I tried, wasn't my copy. So we had something come up. Uh, I tried again, and then I had to stop. Um, I started playing, and then something came up with my work. Uh, I was going... Uh, I've subbed, so looking forward to it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I am... I will be here. Uh, Monday through Saturday is my normal... Uh, my normal stream schedule. So, Sundays is when I give myself a break. I did a year in ARC every single day for a year in ARC. And it kind of burnt me out. And I learned that I need to give myself at least one day of the... One day of the week a break. Um, so... That's something. Um, but let's see... I remember booting it up, and then I had to go... I remember purchasing it, thinking, you know, I'll play it sometime this week, and then I had orders come down, and I didn't get the opportunity, so I deployed. And then... Uh, when I got back, uh, I had some pretty nasty PTSD. Um, our base got mortared. And... And one of my... I had one of my friends die in my arms out there. I can talk about it now. It took a long time for me to uh, to really get over it. I mean, even now, it's it still stings a bit, you know. I still get teary-eyed thinking about it, but... Um, it was the furthest thing from my mind at the time. I got back, and at the same time that that was happening, my fiancé also decided to break off our engagement at that time. Uh, so I was not in the greatest of places to do to do much. The only thing that kept me going was my Destiny group, to be to be frank. Used to be British Forces. Uh, I was in the 75th. I was in the Air Force, though. So, I can't say I was, I was doing much. I deployed twice. The first time I deployed uh, as a Security Forces Augmentee. And the second time I deployed as a Financier. So... Yep. But yeah, I was over in, in Kuwait. So that was that was fun. I actually I really enjoyed the Middle East, aside from obviously my real shitty experience, but I really enjoyed the Middle East. Honestly, it was uh it was good. Alright, we should be right here at the corner, I think. Yeah. So let's go ahead and save and then rest. 80 hours into my first Xbox One uh, completionist run. Nice. Um, but let's see. I got out of the military after six years. Came back over to the east coast of the U.S. Um, started working for contractors again. You pilot the aircrafts? No. No, 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 no. No, I piloted a desk. I flew a desk for a living. <laughs> I know people may joke about the chair force. And, and I was what people called a noner. So basically an honor is when somebody in the military is is doing a job that that like people don't consider mission critical to the actual mission was a bad time for all of us there mate dire times especially between 09 and 10. Let's see. Um I graduated in 2007 joined the military in 2011. Uh, on Thanksgiving Day, nonetheless. Thanksgiving Day was actually when I shipped out. Uh, got over to basic, and then basic went to tech, and then tech school went to my duty station. So. I gotta say, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the military. I personally didn't enjoy my experience that much. I grew up in a Navy family. Um, my father was a SEAL, so I grew up with a very different mentality than the Air Force had. I was an extremely red-blooded kind of American, you know. Protect your, protect your troops. Protect the people in your squad and everything else. They're the only people you can rely on. But the Air Force was very heavy on politics and stuff, so... Mm -mm. No, sir, you can't touch jets unless you're a pilot. Also, I do not meet the qualifications for a pilot, even if I wanted to. Uh, I am an inch too short... And, uh, my eyesight is not good enough. 
the saying for British forces is uh, the two people you're nice to is the clerk and the chiefs. One pays you, one feeds you. <laughs> Jeff's go to boot camp. Yeah, of course I did. Yep, everybody goes to everybody goes to boot camp. I I gotta say I enjoyed the fuck out of boot camp. Like during for me boot camp wasn't that bad because it was more of a transition from my home life to another location. Uh, growing up with with special forces father like my dad is my dad is not like he's a very unassuming guy but man does he put off this intimidating aura when you meet him um i always like to tell people the best way to imagine my father is picture robert de niro in any of his gangster films picture picture him like that and when he walks into a room, he's very unassuming, but he's got that aura of intimidation. That's the best way to go ahead and describe my dad. Like, and that's not even an exaggeration. The guy made everybody nervous all the time. <laughs> Loved your basic? Yeah, I thought basic was a fucking hoot. Man, anybody who's like, oh, basic was so hard and everything, I'm like, listen, literally all you have to do is just do what they tell you. Man, if I could have been paid just to do that, just do what I was told all day. Okay, so south, we're going to be going southwest. So. Let's get to the, uh, to the edge here. British is 14 weeks. Um, ours was, I think, 10 weeks? 8, 8 to 10 weeks? I believe it was. Man, that was so fucking long ago. It was literally a decade ago. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to... Cast... Horse... And then cast, 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 cast. Alright, from here on out, we are hoping for the best. Bayonet training was the best part. I really liked our deployment training when they, they put us in an environment they built. Uh, we had it called Beast Week. Um, and me as the Latrine Queen um, was the deployment... was the deployment specialist. I really enjoyed that kind of stuff. I grew up with... with, uh, with the military in my blood, you know. My dad was very strict growing up. Uh, but it came with a lot of discipline, so... I certainly won't complain about it. Uh, let's hope this works. Also, hold on. Let me, uh, wagon. We are going to pull... These water walking things. Put this. Remove it. There we go. Alright, from here, it's just a straight shot. I think. Man, if we can make it off of just water walking, off of just spell cast, this would be awesome. At least I know the, the name of today's episode. <laughs> we'll name it something like Jesus Horse. But yeah, I do kind of miss the military sometimes. There's a lot of structure that you get in the military uh, that you don't get outside of it. And, and I do apologize for, for military talking and everything else. I'm sure everybody's, um, you know, news is inundated with news about Ukraine and Russia and stuff like that. But, you know, I, it's just my personal experience and I'd rather share it than somebody not know. In the reserves now, easy life for the family. 
Yeah, I didn't want to become part of the the reserves when I ooh. when I when I got out. I just I wasn't about it. If I had had the chance, I would have gone into the navy, but it just wasn't in the cards. This is ridiculous, guys. <laughs> I'm sure all of you understand how stupid this is what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but this should last for about half an hour, and I think we'll be on land by that point. Especially with the speed I'm moving, it definitely seems like the horse is fast. 22.50 here. Uh, I have work in the morning. Nice chat. God bless. All right, you have a great evening. Well, and, you know, sleep tight, get some rest, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Uh, every day, Monday through Saturday. I can understand the eyesight, but why the height requirements for planes? Uh, because they're built to certain, certain specs, um, they need you to be a certain height in order for, for you to be able to operate everything efficiently. I think 5'5 five, five is the minimum. I 5'4. So. Yep. Couldn't qualify. They told me that right when I had to go through maps. Uh, they were like, wow, you know, one more inch and maybe you might have done it. I'm like, listen, I wear glasses. There's no way I could have done this, so. Yeah, unfortunate. I was destined to go into uh, into finance, though. My I've been running my own money since I was 12 years old. Um... You know, I've dug my way out of $30,000 worth of debt. You know, I've uh, made a lot of financial decisions and investments in my life. So, I definitely know my way around a buck. It was really fun, though. Like... So they had this thing called, like, All Things Finance, and it was a program where basically somebody became a specialist uh, for a particular units and everything. And me as a financier was housed with the security forces. So I lived in, like, the with the cops and everything. It was hilarious because every day these guys were drinking all the time. And I told them, look, you got an issue, you come over to my room, I'll solve it. So that way you guys don't have to worry about any of this stuff didn't know uh, about that yeah there's a lot of stuff like when they tell you you can be anything you want it comes with a giant asterisk at the end you can be anything you want as long as you qualify that kind of stuff you know certain scores certain grades certain things that you have to you have to meet um like i said i don't think there's anything wrong with the military i just i just didn't agree with the air force and uh you know they didn't agree with me I wasn't very touchy-feely or uh, worried about people's feelings, so I said what I had to say as courteously as I could, but I was really bad at delivering a shit sandwich. So. There's the music for water. That's what I like to hear. Dang, look at that progress. I'm not even gonna need any of these potions. I'm so mad. <laughs> with the with the speed this horse is going, I'll be able to get there in no time. I guess since I'll have a bigger, um, I'm gonna have bigger puddles than I need to cross. It makes sense to keep it, even if I don't use it. Uh, 
I'm also really glad that it stacks because I would have hated... I found out early that things stack when I kept casting all at once and the time just stacked onto it instead of uh, having to keep recasting all the time. So I'm really glad that stacking is a thing. Is that a... is that a thing? Is that land? No, I think that's just part of the environment. This would hurt. The absurdity of water walking with the horse. Good to know spell effect stack. Yep. So you can, as long as you keep casting it, if it, it just adds to the timer. So. Surprising. But very effective so far, I've noticed. Also, you can take the horse underwater as well. I've definitely had my horse out and uh, been in water. So that is a thing. I like how it's putting me in Sentinel right now. Just because I'm in the water. Okay, we're gonna have to slightly course correct. Don't wanna completely miss land. And I got to keep an eye on that boot. I can't just ignore it. Because I may have to go ahead and still drink some of those uh those water walking potions. Depending on uh, if the spell gives out or not. There's no making this horse run faster. This is about as fast as the horse will go. And to think I was going to try and do this through the Mages Guild. Yeah, I would have been really SOL if I would have done it there. Because I hear that enchantments on when held uh, or when worn wear out your, that equipment super fast. I'd like to see them werewolf hunters go ahead and spawn on top of me now. I'm wondering if there's a bunch of like slaughter fish under the water. just fall down, following underfoot. <laughs> and 
And this is roughly about the same distance from this, the edge of this island, um, to the next island that I'm going to be going to. Maybe a little more, but... I mean, if I can make it to this island, which that looks like it's coming up over here. If I can make it to this island, I don't think I'll have any problem making it to the other island. Whatsoever. Yeah, that looks like land right there. think they, they had a person like me in mind when they designed this game. <laughs> and the more you level up, the longer water walking will last, too. Yep, yep, so you've been saying. I think I'm at, like, 86% on my level or something right now. 93. 93%. sure that's the land right there. I just need to get there. You know, if it lasts for half an hour, then we're golden. And if not, we have potions for that exact reason to uh, cover up the remainder of time that we need between the uh, spell. And we'll time it out um, on the next level to see exactly how much it extends it. Uh, because right now, it's 48 seconds total. I'm calculating at 47, just because I don't know when it cuts off. Uh, but it is 48 seconds. You can save scum, level up by saving before you rest when you're close to level to maximize your stat increases. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. I'll be fine. Even if my stat increases aren't the greatest, I'll be okay. I'll just take it, take it as it comes. Just like any good D&D &D character. About the only thing that I'll... That I will, uh... That I will F9, F12 is... Uh, stealing something. Just a little more. The land is in sight. I don't know why people call it save scumming either, though. Because, I mean, what's wrong with it? Everybody wants to maximize out their stats. Everybody wants to go ahead and get the best possible outcomes. What's wrong with saving and reloading? You know? I'm kind of mad that I spent 5,000 gold on potions that I don't think I'm going to need. At least not now, anyway. I'll probably need them later, um, when I have to do, uh, when I have to go across, like, bigger oceans than this, but it's just unfortunate that I don't need them here. Alright, on foot. So, we are heading to this corner. It thinks I'm over there. Okay. Am I considered, like, not on the map right now? I guess it doesn't consider me on the map. <laughs> Alright. So this is kind of going to be a pain. Navigating. 
I'll just have to assume based on uh, where I'm at and what I'm looking at. Because it is uh, currently, it thinks I am currently out in the middle of somewhere else in the world. Yep, it doesn't even register me here. This is how you break your game, guys. If you notice, I'm just quick saving rather than putting a full save down. One step at a time breaking the game. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have to assume where we're at. So, I am taking a guess, since I don't know, that I have landed somewhere along this. If I can encounter the Wixley Grave... Uh, let's see, temples or anything else? No temples. Well, I guess there's one temple. Wait, am I in Bethany right now? I am. Okay, hold on. Um, find... No, I'm not in Bethany. There's no way. Hmm, okay. So I'm in, still currently in Daggerfall. That's why it wasn't tracking me. So let's go ahead and get in here. That's why. Okay. So I'm at this corner. Uh, Masterson's Court is where I'm going to need to get to. Disregard, guys. I thought I was breaking the game. Turns out I'm just an idiot. You know what I'd like to know? If they're going to come up with some type of Morrowind uh, thing. Because I think the anniversary of Morrowind is coming up, isn't it? I hope that they do something for it. Because it'd be really disappointing if, if they didn't go ahead and do anything to celebrate it. I mean, Morrowind basically saved their company. They should be down on their knees. Capcom gave us Street Fighter 2 again in that collection. <laughs> yeah. Not too sure if they're going to do anything for the anniversary of Morrowind. It would be unfortunate if they didn't. I mean, it's a good game. It definitely deserves, like, either a remaster, and I understand Rebirth is a thing, but I think even re-releasing it would still be good. I feel like what they should do is they should release, um, they should release an, an the Anthology Edition on all things. Because having it on PC is cool and all, uh, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't come with all of the DLC. So, it just comes with base game and everything, and that's cool and all, but, like, come on. Give them everything. Actually, hold on. While I'm at it, let me, let me look at the, uh, at the anthology here next thing. So, I'm pretty sure it's just base game. But let me check Morrowind section. Daggerfall. Let's see. Lost Prophecies, Incarnate, uh, the reincarnation of a Dunmer hero. 
arriving in Morrowind to rid the land, to fulfill the prophecy. Emperor sends an uncertain Imperial courier to the island of Varden. Okay. This is Morrowind here. 2002. Man. Those were the days. I remember 2002 very fondly. Let's see. Construction set. Elder Scrolls construction set. What does that even mean? Okay. Let me look that up. I have no idea what they mean by construction set. Oh. Oh! It does come with everything. Construction... Tribunal, Blood Moon. No shit, that's cool as fuck. It came, with, it comes with everything. Then it's got Oblivion, Oblivion Disc One, Oblivion Disc Two. Oh, Game of the Year Edition. So this one also comes with everything. And then Skyrim here, and then all the maps for the locations, which I'd like to go in and get framed, so I can have the full map of uh, Tamriel. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that they came with, uh, with the Game of the Year editions and uh, all of their updates. Hmm. Uh, I don't see the controls of early uh, Elder Scrolls and Fallout translating uh, to a limited control scheme. I'd love to play the older Elder Scrolls and Fallout games on Switch. Um... I could see, I could see Fallout coming to Switch, especially the older ones. I could absolutely see that. Oh, I am definitely not in the ocean. What do you mean? Uh, because the Switch has a touch face inner, uh, because the, the Switch has that touch screen, like, I can see that, since Fallout was point-and-click anyway. You just make it a touch screen interface. As close as you can get to point-and-click. I'd love to know where I actually am, game. Not whatever you think, wherever you think I'm at. Ted West. Maybe it just still thinks I'm in the ocean or something. A little bit inland should help. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and the other D&D games are on Switch. Yeah, I can see it. Um, what I don't see is the company giving permissions for Nintendo to do a port. Or for anybody really doing a port of it. That's what I don't see. nearby. What kind of enemies we got around here? Okay. Daedra Heart. I'm about that. Keep it at Daedra Heart. Oh, my wagon is getting full start selling stuff soon. Pretty sure old Elder Scrolls source code is lost as well. Wouldn't be 
surprised. Seems like a lot of that stuff is just disappearing. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna have to do... When was the last time? 12th day of the seed. 22nd is when I'm gonna need to go ahead and do my next kill. Um, 10 days. I think that'd be enough time to get there and back. I think. Masterson's court is really what we're looking for. If we can find that, we'll, I'll be golden, so. The issue is just locating it. I know it's near the. Obviously, it's near the coast, but. Any town at this moment would be fine, because it'll give me some bearings. town I run into just any of it. So maybe I can get my map reset here. Stops thinking I'm in the middle of the ocean. Trying to go ahead and just, like, find any town. Okay. Uh, I am at... Alright, I think we're, we're doing okay. Now that it's actually registering me. As being on land. Let's head north, stop at this town up here real quick, wherever it's at. What time is it? 22, 10 something. See about selling off some of the stuff I have in my inventory. 
if I'm lucky, there's a blacksmith, and if not, then I'll just sell whatever swords and, and bullshittery that I can. Somewhere. Okay. So I am definitely close enough for it to be in range. There we are. Let's go ahead and rest. Okay. Hey, is that it? Yeah, it sure is. Time it is four something in the morning. Sleep in spell cast. Let's go into... Into info mode. Lynx and Rascal. Okay. And whatever store this is over there. Not this one, but it's behind this building, I think. Yep, Roderick's quality equipment. Sell. Okay, we'll keep the steel die katana just in case we need it for some reason. Um, battle axe, mithril flail, we'll keep that. Staff, battle axes, dwarven axe. Because we don't need that. Iron, arrows, mithril washizaki, keep that. Adamantium longsword, keep that. Um, these are all magical stuff. Silent Ring, I really don't need it. Toxic Cloud, I don't think I need that either. Short Shirt of Lightning, don't need that. And Unrestrained Long Shirt. That re Unrestrained Long Shirt might be good. The rest of that I don't really care about. Uh, they don't really weigh anything though, so... I guess it's fine. Ingredients, probably a ton, but we'll just sell what we've given them so far. Silver, silver. Condition used. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Mithril Longsword. If you get a high enough rank in the Mage's Guild, you can just enchant something with item repair. What? So, wait, it'll just repair itself? Then nothing will break ever? Hmm. Ooh, that Longsword looks nice. What is this? Just parchment? I'd actually come back for that Longsword. What else we got in here? Nothing. Longsword looking good. Silver katana. Yeah, that longsword does look pretty nice. Let's 
is going to set me back. Ah, barely anything. I'll take that. Barely setting me back. Alright, what we'll do is... F6. It repairs every item in your inventory. Pretty overpowered. So, what would you just do? Would you just, like, equip it and then take it off? I mean, that does sound really fucking overpowered. <laughs> um, let me see what I have on my wagon for, for like, weapons. Because I have plenty of stuff in here. Just gotta figure out, like, Steel Die Katana. I just gotta figure out, like, what actually I want to use and what I don't. Dwarven Die Katana, 5 to 23. You leave it equipped and repair stuff automatically. So, but it's an item when held, so I assume because it's item when held, um, it'll just, like, it'll eventually break. Man, we don't have to do a damn thing here, do we? Like, so many random items. Dwarven sabers. I don't even need these. I'm pretty sure I don't need these. Yeah, I need to find some place to get rid of all these armors is the problem. I'm starting to get a lot of all this armor I can't do anything with. Never breaks because it doesn't count as a spell. Oh. I see. So I could take my Khajiit suit and put it put it my Khajiit suit as like a uh, Khajiit suit of repair and it would just permanently sit there and repair all my equipment. That would be awesome. <laughs> my leotard of uh, infinite durability. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, as is, we'll just leave it here. Keep using this uh, silver die katana until I don't need it anymore. <sighs> okay, so, now that I know that I'm here, I need to travel southwest again. Keep going southwest. Until we hit whatever this town is, this next one. I gotta say, the whole water walking, also strength armor and plus and 50% carry weight enchantment doesn't count towards an item's degradation as well. Huh. What do you mean by strength armor? Because the armor of orc strength, it looks like any time I was wearing it, because it started out as new um, when I got it, and now I think it's considered used or slightly used. So I don't know if that's the case. The Golden Tutu of Sword Sharpening. <laughs> oh, that would be good. A lot seems to be going on. Hey, welcome back. Um, And I wouldn't say a lot seems to be going on, but I certainly did take my horse across the water. I found out that my water walking is a lot stronger than I gave it credit for. And, uh, my horse is definitely capable of walking across the ocean. So, yep. 
I was just riding my pony across the ocean. Oh, um, it makes your armor rating improve by five points all around. Oh, that's cool. Oh, strength and armor. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Take my leotard and slap as many enchantments as I can into it. Or would I have to put different enchantments on different pieces so I'd have to wear a shirt and pants, cuffs, rings, and all kinds of other stuff? And I know it's at rank 6 that I would have to do that for the Mage's Guild, so... It would be a pain. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. I could just go ahead and do the open spell... Uh, the open spell quest, and then... That'll take care of it. You know, until it's done. Water walking horse OP. <laughs> yeah, so it would seem. It's good because it saves me on stamina, and, uh... Wish I was here to see it. I mean, it's all live broadcast. You can always go back and check it out. I mean, you'll be seeing it here shortly because I'm just trying to find the town that I'm going to, uh... That's going to be my jumping off point to the next area. So if you stick around, you'll, you'll see it yourself. Thanks, Nightbot. Doing your job. Really poorly. <laughs> Man, this bot's pointless sometimes. I mean, I guess it's doing its job. It's just, like, not sure how to do its job properly. In case any of you guys are wondering why everybody is called the Moon Crew... Uh, it's because our conversations tend to be complete lunacy sometimes, as has been quoted in ARC. You know, every time it was, a, like, a full moon, everybody just lose their fucking mind and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, we started measuring everything by lunacy, and thus the moon crew was born. So that's the story of, uh, how the fan base got their name. Should be closing in on it soon. Is it down the hill? Yeah, should be right on top of it, I think. Oh, I am somewhere on top of it. I'm completely off the, the beaten path here, though. Alright, this will be our last stop before heading off into the, uh, into the ocean again. I'm gonna take a quick stop into this town. What time is it? 8.28. First, we're gonna rest... Before we get in there. Hey! Leveled up. Intelligence. One ninety-three of one fourteen. <laughs> Running in thaumaturgy. Oh, rat! Get out of here, rat. Alright. So this is our final stop. How cool would it be 
uh, to have some of those songs remixed into current day games. That would be pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we got here. Fox and Goat. That's it. That's all there is. There's nothing else here except this inn. All right, so from this pl point, um, we're still in Daggerfall. From here, we are going to be taking the horse, swimming southwest. Yeah, southwest. So let's get to the shoreline. Save really quick. So I've been forgetting to do that. We'll rest on the shoreline, and then from there we'll, uh... Cast Water Walk. And then I'll just be heading in this direction for... 15, 20 minutes, or however long it takes us to get there. Let's go ahead and just cast out, regardless of how long the damage is going to take. So fully healed. Healed. Okay. Q. Horse. And then just keep going. <laughs> Alright, now we just go. That's it. This is what we do. Keep on the course and just keep pressing forward. Now, I don't think it was designed to do this, so I don't think I will be able to fall. <laughs> Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I haven't thought about that song in so long. I know, tell me about it. Tell me about it. This horse is magical. <laughs> this horse shall forever be named Jesus. The great stallion Jesus. Many have spoken about him. You may know him as the Water Walker. The Liquid Mane. The Hoover Hoof. Many have seen the horse as he crosses the great campuses of, of the ocean. Many a Winnie have only wished that they could be studied by the great Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Bethesda feature. <laughs> I just think it was like something they just didn't didn't expect. That's all. I I don't think this game was designed with the challenge in mind that I am doing. Horsus. That is perfect. Horsus. <laughs> Not only does it make it sound like Jesus, it makes him sound like an Egyptian god. Horsus. He was the one who craved the chariot across the sky. When you think of Apollo, when you think of Horus, when you think of any of the gods, you are not thinking of the wolves, you are not thinking of anything. You are thinking of Horsus and his great mane of destruction. <laughs> There's always the option of crossing the Iliac Bay to get to Sentinel faster. 
I am thinking that might be the way to go ahead and do it. That That's where I think the stamina potions and, and the... That's where I think the stamina potions and stuff are going to really come in handy. I kind of wish that I had had Thaumaturgy as one of my major skills now. I mean, it's fine. I'll, I'll get there. The question is, though, am I going to be able to make it there? And, like, with my spell casting, or am I going to have to eat into my uh, potions that I've been sitting on? Holy shit, that's a perfect Khajiit voice. <laughs> this one did not steal anything. This one is innocent. Khajiit has been framed. Yeah, I, I like I said, I really, I really enjoy doing voices and stuff like that. So, I think Khajiit was my first encounter with that kind of. Uh, uh, with that kind of accent. So, my favorite accent, though, is the Nigerian accent. And I, I mean that truly, as a person, my favorite accent is the Nigerian accent. I love... It's it's so fun to do a Nigerian accent. It has, it has such a ring to it. It's, Irish accents are very fun because they're bouncy. But a Nigerian accent is it's just it's forceful it's a fun it's a fun accent and you know i learned it by by actually talking to some some people from nigeria and stuff you know i've had them like hear it and everything and they've they've enjoyed it they think it's really cool um so anybody who gets on me and be like that's racist i'm gonna no uh as a puerto rican my entire culture is cultural appropriation we wouldn't have much of a culture anymore if it weren't for that. And if you want cultures to spread and grow, it's not called appropriating. It's called spreading. So. But yeah, I really love the Nigerian accent. But one of my favorite ones to do. But yeah, I like Khajiits. I like their accents. Just don't like Khajiits as a thing. They're probably my second favorite race in uh, in Elder Scrolls, but it seems like they're ju they're even like they're definitely above Argonians. Everybody hates Argonians. Have you seen the "Why Are You Gay" Nigerian interview? I haven't. I have not seen that. Is that is that the Ididapupu one? Is that is that the one? <laughs> uh, it was really cool to actually because I started reading up on some history and I didn't realize that all the races that end with myrrh are some type of elf so all myrrhs because elves apparently in Elder Scrolls they're, they're called myrrh so the, such as the old myrrh the, the, the dun myrrh so myrrh is the actual name of the elven races I thought that was pretty, pretty unique. I know that they all share, like, a common ancestor and everything. I love playing on Obsession, Compulsive, Thief, Khajiit. This one must free all the forks from servitude. Ah, I see you have beautiful forks sitting in your pantry. It would be a shame if you left it there and it did not come into my... Oh, this, how is this in my pocket? This one is innocent. I did not take fork. Fork came with me. 
<laughs> it's hilarious. You should watch it. All right. Uh, I'll put it on my list of stuff. Which, talking about that, the Evanescence, or Evanescence Orchestra album was pretty nice. I haven't seen the Max Sabbath one yet. I will get to it. Going straight here. If you guys want to see how much progress we're making here. Damn, we're about halfway there. Almost no time has passed. So we can straighten out here. Now. I wonder when we stop being in Daggerfall and start being in Bretigny. This is so much faster than I thought it was going to be. I mean, all of that preparation for nothing. I didn't know it existed till I went to see them on my uh, 30th, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> That's cool. That's super cool. It's good when you can discover, discover new sides of music that you're already uh, invested in. break for a second. literally just sitting here pressing my W key, just leaning back. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, I can take a look at the water walk, but I mean, if it gives out, it's as simple as uh, cracking one of the potions or if it starts to give out. And I don't think it will, especially like the time frame that we have half an hour to work with. Probably more than half an hour to work with. Fish didn't even exist back then. <laughs> well, it's funny because Slaughterfish, like, there's Slaughterfish in dungeons that I've run into, and I'm sure there are Slaughterfish in these oceans, but... On YouTube, which will get a kick out of it. Alright, sounds cool. So there are Slaughterfish, just like... They're just not really there. I mean, I'm also walking on top of the water, so I'm pretty sure the slaughterfish are like, what the fuck is this shit? Pretty sure there's slaughterfish under like my feet right now, just waiting for me to do something, waiting for me to fall off this horse. Mm 
Shouldn't be too much longer, I think. We're still in Daggerfall. Good to know. This is still considered Daggerfall, even being on the edges of, uh... Edges of everything. Actually, you know what? Let me check. Can I click on Bretany? Yep, it'll pull me up. On Bretany. So, I guess... Technically, I'm in Bretany? I'm in Bettany Waters. Uh, how are you? Also, how are you galloping along water? Hey, Scout. Um, yeah, I'm doing alright. So, you see that boot in the corner? That's my water walking spell. Uh, I found out that if you cast the water walking spell, it counts towards your horse. So, I am just, uh, I have a whole bunch of water walking cast and, uh, just walking with my horse. That's all I'm doing. Horses performs many. Horses performs many miracles. Horses is best horse. <laughs> That's such a good idea, horse. Oh man, horses. How great. <laughs> Good stuff. Man, and I could just do this with, like... I can just do this with my magic. I don't even have to do anything crazy. I mean, maybe when I get to crossing the, uh... When I get to crossing the bay, go straight to Sentinel. This could make getting to Wayrest a lot easier. get the sentinel for sure just passing straight across the bay instead of having to worry i don't know if my horse will well if i'll make it sure oh telling me i'm over here listen i'm all the way over here what do you mean i mean sure it went ahead and like crossed out this whole area here Let me see what that looks like. From here to here, that's like... That's like almost nothing. My best bet, instead of trying to cross through this section here, might be to take these islands all the way through, the most direct route, uh, cross out this area, cross through here, then cross directly here, and I think this will... Wayrest region? Yeah. Cross through here and then Wayrest. And then from there, um, let me take a look. From there, I would just have to walk across. Because I don't think I'll be able to make the, the, the walk all the way across this thing. That might be a little too much for horses. I hope somebody uh, gets you an awesome reward for not trash traveling because that's quite an accomplishment in Daggerfall. Eh, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. It would be cool, but finally made it home. Time to fire up some arc and continue the dino orgies. <laughs> so what are you breeding right now? I 
I will say I did see a super cool like black and red tropo. Uh, that was awesome looking. It was like this nice dark crimson red uh, with the black colors on it. Uh, I think it was like a black and red beak and everything. Oh man, that was probably the coolest looking. My tropo was purple and and like neon green with a couple bits of color here and there, but I thought that was an awesome looking tropo. I, the only way I think any any recognition will come of this is if it's if we finally get towards the end and people see how much I've done and everything else. If it got into the hands of like if any of the the like original Bethesda team or any of the people who did um, who did Daggerfall saw this, I think they'd be they'd be fairly impressed that I took the time to do it. But that's about it. I can't see anybody else really caring that much. Foot. Okay. So we are officially in Bethany. Now we just need to go ahead and cross. Southwest. Um, Argies. Tropios. Uh, Allos, Sinos, Rexes, Dianos, Dimars, Houdiels. About 40 of each. I got it. I got it. Got Art mixed up with Turok. Uh, this is basically the same thing. You know, Ark is just uh, Turok with babies. <laughs> hmm. Alright, actually, before I continue anymore, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick restroom break, um, and I will be back here in a few minutes. See you all shortly. Alright, I'm back. I have to agree, Turok would be a really cool game to see remade today. Honestly, an open-world Turok game would be really cool to see. Hmm. 
All right. Let's get on back to it. <sighs> I think it's pretty funny that Thaumaturgy is going to be like my second in command. <laughs> it may be my first if I can go ahead and just keep casting it to, uh, to force my stuff up. Let's see. Let's see what major cities we have in here. We have White Goat Inn, uh, Tristor. Oh, is that a dungeon? It is. Wixley Graveyard and Tristor Lab. Is the lab where we need to go? sent us to hold up in Tristor Laboratory. So, we need to go east. Okay, we're actually not that far from it at all. Intermission graphics work very well with the soundtrack. <laughs> I chose the, um... I chose my theme based on, on keeping uh, Elder Scrolls in mind. Just like when we get to uh, when we get to Skyrim, I may go ahead and change it. I think I'll leave it. I'll leave these graphics through Morrowind. When I get to Oblivion, I'll go ahead and change it, and then when I get to Skyrim, I will also change it. But I think that these these uh, this particular graphic can carry all the way through Morrowind. If it breaks, I'll just chuck it. I, I think my weapon may actually break as I go through this one. Just sitting here thinking about the uh, size of dungeons. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, right here. Heading straight for it. Vibrates faintly. You notice a strong acrid smell. Um, I, for one, can't wait to watch another Morrowind playthrough. Never get enough of that game. <laughs> been a long time since I've uh, since I've touched it so I remember starting it once and being like what the hell and this is just being massively confusing all right we're gonna go in so we'll leave these two on should be fine um, don't need to worry about any of this stuff should be good. F9, rest. All right. Here we go. What in the f- I just got here. I just got here. That's here. That was ineffective. That's here. That's 
ineffective. What is this thing? <laughs> Material is ineffective. Holy cow. Okay. I guess I gotta go for my mithril stuff. Or mithril stuff. I don't have much of a choice. Ooh. Okay. I think I did a bad save. I'm gonna have a bad day right now. A Daedroth. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a bad day here. Well, wait. X. I'm pretty sure I am uh, silenced. Yep. First Daedra enemy. So that's a Daedra. Got it. Damn, does that mean I'm going to have to use this uh, longsword the whole way through? I feel like my silver weapons are kind of outdated at this point. lot of restoration cast in here. I can feel it already. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> as long as I don't have to consistently deal with Daedra, I think I'll be okay, but I can already hear it. There are just, there are many danger races of oblivion are just as varied as, uh, Tamriel. Hmm. A Daedric Warhammer. Ooh-wee! So, Daedric stuff looks like Daedroth and Oblivion. I do not recall it, but... Access. Um... Yeah, let's put away that Warhammer, because I'm not going to use it until I have to. Let's F9 so I don't lose that. Through some fault of my own. Let's shut this. So I know I haven't explored it. Disregard, let's open it up. Fles Atronarch. So a scab. Resurrected zombie bones. Okay. I try and not sneeze in your guys' ears, so if it sounds like I'm about to sneeze, yeah. <sighs> Okay. 
Daedra are immortal too, so when you kill them, they just respawn. Yeah, I figured they were basically just demons. Absolutely no understanding of time or age. Instructions, leathers. Nobles at court. My last clear memory is watching the moon rise. <clears throat> you find a diary fragment written a clear hand. I have no memory of coming to this place. Uh, if I've been kidnapped, for what? We have no money. Uh, Sindasa, barely tolerated by the nobles. So. Your last memory is being a Veil Wolf. <clears throat> oh, well. Gotta change equipment here. <clears throat> Switch out again. <clears throat> Ooh, is that a lava golem or something? Arc, yeah. Lava Golem. <laughs> okay. You guys know what I meant. Ooh, lots of ginkgo leaves. Hell yeah. Give me that ginkgo leaf. <clears throat> That's all good. Doesn't look like there's anything else up this way. <clears throat> Alright, we can head on back down. Uh, I think it's in Skyrim that you, uh can meet a Daedra who's completely fascinated like a kid seeing snow for the first time. Let's check down this hallway first. <clears throat> I can hear that dinosaur from here. Wherever you are. <clears throat> Ways from the Rotten Nobles dagger full. Within scrolling hand. I can't believe Sindasa acted so spitefully. Just because I broke up with her friend, uh, Alana Ashford. Well, I much cared for visiting Long Moth either. Thought we parted amicably. But paying to turn me into, uh, into the shapeshifters, I just don't get it. Must be, uh, 
picking up bad ways from those rotten nobles. Ah, I get it. He just doesn't realize what's going on. Thinking the world's out to get him. <clears throat> oh, I hear you. I hear you there. Adamantium long sword. Oh, yes. Good stuff. It was Akachosh, the uh, dragon god of time, that invented the concept. Got a lot of good money. Time is a really fr uh, funky thing in Elder Scrolls. Time is just a really funky thing in general. Time's just super weird. Oh. Oh, well, hold on. Let me just uh, switch on back. I don't want to burn through any of that. Nothing here. I feel like if I go down, basically the ending of every quest is canon because Ash was basically farted. <laughs> every ending of Daggerfall is canon because Ask Tosh is like .exe stopped working. <laughs> possible time. Uh, essentially, time flows in a single line unless the events of the game... Until the events uh, of a game and then splits into infinite timelines and then converges again. So everything happens but also didn't happen. I see. That does sound like some tiny wimey bullshit. Pretty brilliant way of determining canon. Yeah, so you always know what's canon. All of it. Okay. 
turn now. This door here. Man, now that looks like a door. Oh. Uh, not a big door, just a door that happens to look like it's a big door. It seems to be making some headway here. as big and scary a dungeon as I expected, but uh, I'm sure it is larger than I am giving it credit for. Let's go ahead and go down this way first. Oh. Does this room go anywhere? Looks like there's two doors. Seems like there's two doors here. Well, there's a lot of doors, actually. Um, uh, in later games, an eagle-eyed explorer can spot conflicting stories. Those players were like, did this happen? Or did it happen like this? So Almighty Todd declared to the masses, yes. <laughs> That's how it works, right? When you can't decide on a cannon, make it all canon, right? That's why Legend of Zelda has such a weird fucking storyline. Because they couldn't just, couldn't just let it be. Everything had to be canon and everybody had to be right and wrong. So that's why we've got all those time splits. Alright, I guess we'll just take it up. I know that going down is probably the best bet, not up, but... A Daedric Saber. I feel like we're about to run into, like, this hallway here. Which is fine if we do, because it'll give me a chance to go ahead and drop stuff off. So. All that's really canon is the ending of the main stories. Oh, I can hear you. I hear you, dinosaur. You know what I think it would be interesting? Um, an enemy that is resistant to higher level um, items. So that way you have to keep, like, a low level item. It can only be killed with iron or something like that. Uh, 
Let's switch back. That's it for now. Um, ow. Bitch. We're good. Looks like nothing in here. Nothing in there. Yeah, this will take us back. Okay, next is re equipping this sword. Because I'm sure we're going to have some bullshit here in a moment. be the case. Oh, I wonder if that lowers the gate and closes the gate. Let's try it now. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to take my dog here shortly. Out. She looks like she's, uh. You need to go outside? Okay, go away by the door, girl. Yeah, it looks like she really needs to go out, so. Nice. Took me right back to, uh where I needed to go anyway. All right, well, I will be back. I gotta go ahead and take my, uh, take my dog out. So I'll be back shortly.
Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Finally, she's got solid poops. No more diarrhea. Super happy. So hopefully she won't be farting up a storm anymore. All right. <sighs> and we got a little bit of runtime too. Okay, let's get on back here. Um, I think I said this is just to open up to a regular area here. Where's my entry point? All the way up there. I'm in like the bowels. That's fine. What we'll do... We'll head out into the uh, open area. I guess wherever that is. Problem. All right, Atronarchs are down. Copper box over here. <laughs> oh, let me go ahead and remove that. I don't think I'm still out somewhere. to wait until this like oh jeez okay these steps like so big I can't just casually walk up them that's not what I wanted to do no screenshots oh that just takes me up here wait to excel up this thing at the speed of load time. That predator purring every now and then is hella unnerving. <laughs> That's so cool. Go into this room. Um, I don't see anything, and I don't think we're gonna have to deal with any Daedra anytime soon, so I say that 
and watch. I'm gonna have to deal with the Daedra. I literally said that, and then immediately I have to deal with the damn Daedra. This is what happens. I guess we'll just keep it on. Don't want to keep running into problems. It's only beyond my skill if I miss. It must have a lever or something associated with it. <laughs> oh, this is that thing that I saw earlier. I guess let's go ahead and see about breaking it open. Seems like it is magically locked. Hmm. Or it's just a door. And it's not really meant to be opened. <laughs> Alright. It's this way. these even connect wow that is a long ass way all the way back to the uh to the entrance there i mean that's fine we'll take it no big deal Nine. 
right. I'm probably gonna take us into a chamber filled with Daedra. Or some bullshit. There was obviously gonna be something here. I could hear it, but doesn't change. It's still scary. It just jumps out at you. deeper. Y'all ever lose your phone or your blanket, just send that thing. Yeah, it happens every once in a while. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Expecting that one at the end, but probably gonna be a lot of flesh atronarchs and stuff here. Well, my stupidity. <laughs> All right, load. Am I supposed to go? Obviously, this shaft will lead me to uh, here. I guess there's something else over on this side, so we'll check there. Save. Now we'll go check this. Well, there's something there.
You drop to the ground completely exhausted. You feel somewhat bad. Am I poisoned? Nope, just exhausted, I'm sure. Can't carry any more stuff. Let's get rid of all the leather. And this round shield and the chain. Taking. Plus three, don't need any of that. Well, that was an interesting experience. Certainly wasn't expecting that. All right, if I go up the shaft, um, can't go up the right. I guess there's something hidden there. Can go back up to the left. Man, this is confusing at this point. I know that I saw the chamber with the werewolf in it, so I just gotta figure out where the fuck that chamber was again. Hey, welcome back, Chad. I am currently in, uh, navigational hell. You know, that place where uh, they put you when you have no idea where the fuck you're going in Daggerfall. There was a big chamber that I ran into that, like, I'm pretty sure had the werewolf in it. I think it might have been this one. So I gotta find my way back to that main area here. That means going all the way around, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta go through that zombie chamber. Right, go all the way around the edges. Get 
this hallway here. Pretty sure we went through this way. Let's go ahead and save. will take me into chambers I don't need. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep going left here. I did not go up this way. So, see where this leads. Slow and steady, maybe it'll take me where I need to go, but I'm pretty sure where I need to go is almost all the way back at the beginning. <laughs> Got a birdhouse in there. Winding chamber. Yep, so it would seem more long winding chambers. Golds, all these ingredients. I really need to stop back at the beginning entrance. I really need to drop all of this off. Because if I come across some Daedric equipment, I'm not going to know what to do with it if I don't have room. Alright. Not too far from the entrance, it looks like, either. So... I say not too far, but it's still pretty long ways away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the werewolf I gotta kill there, so... Maybe I'll come back to this chamber here. Well, in a moment, after we drop off all this stuff.
No, that's gonna go up. We need to go. Alright, let's go ahead and drop all of this nonsense off. I'm pretty sure we're going to be good with Dwarven. I can't see us running into any more of these things anytime soon. I mean, We definitely could. <laughs> Just don't think we will. I mean, if I keep exploring, probably. Oh. <laughs> Damn, a double Dwarven die, Katana. K. F9. Here. Oh, that didn't sound normal. Heard like a whoomp. whatever was in there. Oh, that's just the pit. Okay. Ah, uh, disregard. I thought I was going to not need this again. Seems I do. Ow! Damn it. Where did you even come from, you heckin' lizard? Is that room at the end? You bastard? Pretty sure I had checked that. Oh, probably at the far end. <laughs> nice. Holy candles. This side, that's good. Check up this way. Hopefully, there's nothing here. Hopefully, it's just a single room. Nope, of course, it isn't. But it seems. Like I am heading towards my goal here. Well, not if I go this way and not. Just need to get into that grand audience chamber there. Much as I'd love to go deeper into this, I need to make sure I kill that werewolf and not somebody else.
King Edward, some other stuff. The werewolf is in that big ass room. Yep, uh, I know where that's at. I'm just uh, kind of moving around. I can hear it. I just need to make sure I kill it. That's all. Because I'm pretty sure if it dies and it's not me that kills it, uh, it'll probably just bug the shit out of my quests. At least I get the feeling. Just doing some quick reconnaissance here. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock out that werewolf first. Body of the world begins to transform before your very eyes. Comes a young man. Okay. Cool beans. Now I'm free to explore the dungeon. As I will, right? That's how this works. Done my mission. Alright, steel gauntlets. Don't need those, but I'll take them. can't carry any more stuff so get rid of the leather get rid of the garbage armor I keep those and don't need any of this and steel flail is gonna do much for me we'll take all those ingredients though Hey. OG Daggerfall, this quest was completely random. In the patch version, it's the same dungeon every time. Hmm. Completely random. I mean, that seems pretty cool. I wouldn't mind that, honestly. You know, you never know exactly what's going to pop up. What you got to deal with at any particular time. And I believe in uh, the original enemies don't fight each other, right? It's just a checkbox option here, but... Sorcerer just died. jokes. Hey, Orcish Saber. Too bad I can't use that. I mean, it's free money in my pocket. I've already got a Daedric Saber, so... Not too worried about it. Hmm. 
Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I'm sure that there's more to explore, but I'm not too worried about that. Deidre here. It's a good dungeon. Possibility of getting some good stuff, but... I want to kind of keep to my time limit here. Alright. Let's go ahead and remove some of this stuff. Claymore almost new. New. Now let's put these in the wagon. Yeah, I guess from here on out, we're getting rid of our silver and just keep the Dwarvish. All right. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it out for the night here, guys. And, uh, yeah. For any of you guys who are new, make sure to like and sub. Always appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. And for any of you returning people, thanks for coming back. Hopefully, we'll go ahead and get everything back to normal tomorrow. I guess the algorithm's going to take a couple days to go ahead and fix itself. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, I'll go ahead and catch you all again tomorrow. Uh, I'll just be playing some, uh, what's it called? Elden Ring on my own time after this. But, 